feel to be such a badass? Well, I'll start with that one. How does it feel to be such a badass? Uh, this is the greatest job in the world. I'm like, what most people get arrested for, I get paid for. So I'm happy with that. I'm like, this is just so cool to be able to walk in the cage and uh, do what I love and be able to just, yeah, literally live my dream. <laughs> Are you aware that you have a new record? Uh, yeah, I, I'm like, I hold it for the most finishes for, uh, I believe it's uh, just my division for most finishes, uh, most submissions for all women. And then I know that I even beat uh, some the boys' flyweights even with, I believe it's submissions and tied for finishes for the boys' flyweights too. <laughs> is that something you think about going into a fight that you're like, oh, if I do this, I'm going to beat that record? Or is that something you just learn afterwards, like it's a happy accident? I just keep on looking at Charles Oliveira's submission record. He's at 16 right now. And I'm like, I just need to catch up to that shit. <laughs> That's insane. Um, I think like a lot of people right now are talking about that submission. Obviously, I think a lot of people are upset with the with the referee for letting it go so long. And I know that's not, you know, a reflection of you at all. But I'm curious, at what point did you feel her go out? Uh, I I like I told the ref at one point I was like she's out she's out and he was like no she's not. So um, yeah, I thought she was out for a lot longer than what he thought. So I'm not really sure. I guess I have to watch back the video on when like you can really tell. Um, and, and, and in that situation, um, you know, when you're, you're telling the ref, hey, he's out, he's out, or she's out, um, obviously you can't let go, but what's going through your mind in, the, in that moment when you're like, I feel like she's out? Yeah, it's just waiting for the ref to pull you off. I'm like, it, it's unfortunate in that situation. Like you said, I can't let, let go. So it's, it's, just, it's his job, so you just wait for him to do his job. And uh, you mentioned wanting to go for that record. When do you want to get back in there if that's your plan? Uh, I heard there's a card December 3rd in Orlando, and I've never fought uh, in the UFC in Florida yet, so that'd be an awesome opportunity. And do you have an opponent in mind for that? Uh, maybe someone in the 115 division. Whoa. <laughs> you got a reaction from your coach there. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's kind of been pushing for it. I'm a bit on edge, but I'm definitely uh, walking a little bit smaller than I ever used to, and uh, it's definitely an opportunity that I'm looking at right now. So is it, you're saying, you know, you're walking smaller, is that kind of the reason or is it your coach kind of pushing you or is that something you've kind of always thought about in the back of your head to maybe fight in the different division? Uh, for a while I was walking around like 140, so it would have been impossible for me to make 115 and now I'm like around 130. So it's just, I'm too small for 25 and I'm a little bit, I feel like I'm big for 15, so it's definitely always been a debate, but um, and my coach definitely wants me to push in that direction, so I think it's going to be a step that we're going to make. Awesome. Thank you so much. Just a couple quick ones, because uh, I did you. I also I, I'm looking at this list of all these different awards and stuff that you have, and I also for the appearances in your division. I think you as well got another record for having the most appearances in that division as well. What would you say is the key to your longevity? But as well, every time we see you, you seem to get better and better. What's the key to that? Uh, just loving this. Uh, just loving this fight life. Keep on. I'm in the gym four or five hours every single day, and uh, that's really just it. Just keep on loving this. And when we talked a little bit about, uh, you know, whether you thought it was going to get stopped, you thought there was definitely points where she could stop. Was there any risk of you tiring your arms out waiting for the uh, ref to finally call that, or would you have been able to keep going longer and longer until eventually she would have passed out uh, near the end I was definitely debating changing my grip because she was just lasting forever like I was really surprised with how long she kept she was able to survive that choke from the time she was on her knees I heard her like gargling and choking so it's like I don't it was a very long time for her to hold on to that choke so uh, my arms were getting there but it, it, it was gonna be I knew that it was so close to being over there was nothing that was gonna pull me off it's awesome congrats on the victory thank you